action. Welcome to the Rug Studio. Here at the main studio in Stamford, we have a general overview and selection of all the types of rugs that we sell. Everything is handmade, so hand knotted or hand woven. Occasionally they are just hand finished. We'll come back to that in another uh, video. So here we have our Scandi collection and samples of some of the erased uh, wool silk pieces, contemporary. Here we have some of the Chinese decorative pow towels and semi-old Pekings. Our more village ranges of antique, some of those. Tribal antique and town and tribal antique again at the bottom. Obviously, this is just a small selection of everything we do. We then have floor cushions, large cushions, decorative cushions, both the Killim and the Suzani embroidered pieces. We have a tribal bag face and many more of them from Baluch and the Kashkai region of East and Southwest Iran. Back to doormats from Iran and Afghanistan. Afghan traditional kilims and a couple of other pieces thrown in. Some more decorative kilims, semi-old, new, oversong, and some antique tribal uh, and semi-old kilims back down the bottom as well there. Kilim runners, uh, modern kilims, doormats up to the largest of the natural dyed or hand spun wool. Sheep colour kilims is we tend to stock is up to four metres by three metres and everything down to 60 centimetres by 40. Um, we have some of the antique tribal cushions that we have had made up and we do from our selection of all the Rex Ray scarves of which we have many many designs we have we do our own bespoke uh, cushions made to order as bench seats one, two or three out of each scarf, depending on the client's order. Some of the larger pieces, both antique, contemporary, traditional, modern, um, what's in fashion, the tubies, semi-olds, uh, pre-Iranian revolution, gabe here, it's always fun, large decorative uh, pieces that are more affordable versus the antique. Then we go to the hanging bank. Where we start, I'll start this end. So we've got antique Persian saruk next to a modern Afghan reproduction Mamluk design. Hand spun wool, natural dyes. Persian Naim. And here we have a selection of all the ranges that I personally like, my taste, what I think will sell to the people who I work with. This is an Afghan with both wool and Silk highlights, contemporary uh, style sampler. I always think everything is a sample in this industry. Then you've got a Persian Afshar that's with the triple medallion and then filled with multiple bird technique all around. Things that I like about this kind of rug is the movement. Here, they have lots of colour movement, shows the skill of the weaver. But all of these additional details we'll come back to. Afghan Ziegler, modern reproduction Agra. Another Afghan Ziegler and an Afghan Silk. But this is just a reflection of all the styles, colours, sizes that one can now get. Afghan reproduction Kazakh. Over at the moment I have an antique Kazakh that's uh, about 160 years old in as bright strong colours as this natural dyes should always look as beautiful as a bunch of flowers um, and don't fade and that one's currently being mounted because if not it would be over restored and therefore nicknamed turkified in the trade semi-old mahal so that's with the all over garden trellis design two different seeglers one being from afghanistan one being from the India. Again, some more of the Ziegler's. Persian Kashan. Historically, Kashans a lot of the time are the strong red with the central medallion, but you do get them in the ivory field 
when they're a contender, they're often against the Nyings. Again, always blue and ivory. Persian Tabriz, Persian Kashgai, Little Bee Jar, strongest rugs in existence. If I, I always say if a normal rug should have a seven, average lifespan of 70 years plus, a bee jar is 110 years plus, and to restore it's like restoring a block of wood. They're beaten so solidly, so you have to have your head in the right space before you try and force that needle through your block of wood, and then um, you can happily break three or four needles to make one pass. So you have to have your patience. Uh, again, another Afghan reproduction, uh, Chuvi piece. Chuvi being a reflection of quality and decorative is a name we've given the trade um, for us to instantly recognise the style. This is your uh, Persian, it's not a bee jar, um, Saruk, but this is hand spun wool, natural dyes, and this you can see the beauty of uh, the good wool sings through. That's everything a rug should be. Indian, that's a reproduction again. This is sort of for the softer palette, but it's wanting to bring a bit of life into a place, into the room. And here's your traditional red Kashan. These you can get up to four meters by three meters and bigger, or going a little bit smaller. So this is a good starting point, work well in an English house, in the English grey weather, they always bring warmth um, and not too dark and not not too bright that they sit out of place. Your Persian gabbes, I always nickname these the contemporary tribal because they're mo woven by the tribal people, but with the contemporary twist. So you've still got the elements of the um, the animals, the birds, the stylized animals, the fields, the crops. So all of the motifs you'd find in traditional uh, and tribal piece are here in your contemporary. This has taken it one step further where it's just simplified to essentially the fields and the blocks of colour. Here is the, again, another of the Afghan tubies going a little bit more busier in its design with a semi-central medallion. And this is the very affordable, good starting point red, white and blue rugs started, more colour equals more money equals more design and this is your traditional Afghan with the elephant's foot. This is an English classic essentially, will go in any English home and bring the room together. Here you've got another of the Persian cash guys and then here you've got an Afghan, unusual in that it is a runner shape um, but the traditional in the sense that it's still the deep reds, red, white and blue. Deep reds, deep blues, madder indigo and natural sheep colour. Here is a, again the Persian gabbe, hand spun wool, natural dyes. You again your stylized motifs. So stylized crop, stylized fields. And then we're back to another of the, just a single elephant's foot going through. So the smaller, they can, you get these in any scale, big or small, you can get them down to that size, upwards. The finer the piece, the smaller the um, motifs. Persian Yalame, always with the multiple stylized medallions, corner spandrels, filled, filled with motifs. So this is filled predominantly with stylized plants. There'll be some birds here, here's some rows of birds. Um, and these just keep the eye moving. That's what keeps the rug alive. Then you've got your Afghan uh, Ziegler's, Afghan Kazakhs, all reproduction ones again. Uh, it, modern Indian production where it's wool with the raised silk cut pile. Um, this is to give, give the concept of an antique rug, but in a modern contemporary color palette and format to be able to be durable for use copy of a, a Shirvan design, again a Kazakh design. Tibetan, isn't that great, 1940s, but he's had some old moss. So sadly it's not live, wouldn't allow it in the studio if it was, 
um, but it's one of my favourite pieces with the bats and the peonies, um, but its value has been destroyed uh, by the moth. Gorgeous saffron gabbe, very, very simple. Saffron being the most expensive dye in existence. Then you've got back to a modern reproduction Kazakh. Almost like the bin ends, I always think, of all the rug, all the wool that they couldn't use on the rugs with the design, they put into this sort. And what an easy way of using it up. Again, a little Persian Tajibad, Afghan Ziegla. So you're starting to see the complete contrast and variety of what exists. Another Persian Tabriz, uh, Indian Ziegla. Completely plain. Yes, we do do hand knotted plain rugs. The Gabbays, but also what I term the Abrash range. Abrash being a single colour that will change throughout, giving it a dye bath change, of which we have one coming up. Another Ziegler, three more Zieglers. Uh, Kashkai. Personally, I always like to buy them when they've got the colour palette going along the side. Um, it's just one of my little buying traits. Then you've got the 17th century polonaise design where it's got the border coming up here but the main field is bursting out and again this is in the wool with the raised silk cut pile what a beautiful format reproduction Kazakh modern Kashkai again here you see that color palette running down the sides and here the movement of the votes going up and down Shows the skill of the weaver. Modern Gabe, little runner with the stylized dogs, plants, people. A little bit of character and fun there. And this is what historically though, the same tribe would have been traditionally weaving and some still do. Again, you've got that plant, modern sort of stylized flowers, but that constant movement of color. Something for the contemporary, keeping it much more simple, uh, linear, two-tone, we do do it. Here is the reproduction Agra, um, for a long time this design was known as Agra V, it's now being turned downton, having been starred this design in the TV series. Beautiful Ziegler, hand spun wool natural dyes, really lovely open design. Um, with the dye bath movement, the blues. Traditional Afghans, you can see how much finer, but that same elephant gold motif and the, uh, and the Persian baluch to the right. Modern Kashgai, this one has been slightly reduced in its original size, as it's unusual for them to have made a square. Here is one of my favorite styles, the modern Karajar. This one is though antique, but again, they're always these stylized, different shape, multiple medallions, filled with motifs. Here, the skill of this weaver is just outstanding. The movement going on here and here and here. This rug is full. This was a very technically clever, very experienced weaver to have achieved such a beautiful rug. This, that rug, just coming back to it. This you're looking at about, 110, 120 years old. So, you know, I know I won't look that good when I'm that old. <laughs> um, then we got reproduction Kazakh. Again, another of those stylized gabbays using up the wool. Uh, then we've got another of the single medallion cash guys. So you either get the single or the triple. Um, and here we've got our lovely collection. This is just a sample of the Rex Ray rugs. The American artist who did a lot of work with the Rolling Stones and other uh, musicians who I think these are, to me, they're the contemporary tribal because these are as thought provoking as a tribal rug in that you're wondering what was going through the artist's head when he put designed this. Brilliant. Again, the cash guy, triple medallion. And here is a Mahal back with the uh, sort of main garden design going on in the background and a single medallion happening. 
all that one's semi old. So we have semi old, antique, and brand new. Again, brand new cash guy. Another cash guy. Another cash guy. And here we come to the Vogue collection, which is a really soft, easy to decorate around. And then the polonaise, the erased, of which this we've used this design and we've done it in ivory with a fuchsia pink and an emerald green. We've done it in a, in a soft grey stone colour with a really detailed pale green silk design with the highlights of just the splatterings of silk to lift it, all based working on this design, which you will see in a later date, both on the website under Bespoke or looking coming across it on our Pinterest. Um, the Icat which I've equally put onto a chair and upholstered a chair in this with the deep, the main deep solid section going down the back and then this pushing the chair out there. Afghan Hamamadi again, another form of traditional Afghan. Afghan Ziegler, modern reproduction, uh, Persian Hamadan, Persian Baluch, uh, we have both P Persian and Afghan Baluch, an Egyptian Shirvan copy, and then uh, in the top corner, we're looking at another of the Afghan Kazakhs. So thank you for paying attention and keep looking because day by day, we will put on there what to look for in each particular rug. Thank you.